Hi right, guys, how's it going? We got this knife here, a copperhead, from Chicago Knife Works, and I thought it'd be fun to compare the advert to the actual knife. So let's have a look at the advert. I'll just put it up now. So frost cutlery, coke buffalo copper bolster, uh, copperhead creek, four inch closed mirror finish stainless steel and worn cliff blades, buffalo horn handle. Copper bolsters, boxed, and it's 9.43. The picture looks pretty good. It looks pretty interesting. I like that swell in the middle. I guess that's what makes it look like a Coke bottle or something. The old-fashioned Coke bottles. It's got a nice clip blade and a nice Warncliffe style blade. Let's have, take a look at the knife itself. Alright, so here's the knife. That's its box it comes in. The Copperhead Creek, the snake there, and... Chattanooga, Tennessee and there's the number 4 inch closed pocket knife, genuine buffalo horn handle, stainless steel blades, copper bolsters and pins, brass liners and it will give you cancer if you live in California alright let's dig in See how it comes. My battery light's flashing, so I'll try and keep this short. Right, so it's pretty heavy plastic uh, external wrapper and the uh, grease proof paper on the inside. Looks like it's got a design on the paper. I like it when these papers have design on them. It's like a rattlesnake head. Hard to see, I guess. Can you see it? There you go. Rattlesnake design there. And here it is itself. Let's get the measuring stick. Now it's going to be dirty. It's straight out the wrapper and what Jersey Knife Guy said the other day on these Rough Riders. They come filthy dirty out the box. And he's right, they do. Some, some are better than others, I've found. This is four inches closed. Yeah, some are better than others, but uh, a lot of them do come really filthy. Chunks of, chunks of black dirt drop out of some of them. Let's look at the gapping on the back. See the grind on here is sort of cants horizontal or whatever. Goes over that way instead of straight, but that's okay. Uh, I like the swell there. The swell's there because that rivet controls the back springs, two back springs there and if you didn't have that other that little bit hump here that's where the back springs would tend to break on its thinnest point so so that hump is to try and prevent that we got nice brass bolsters they're not really rounded rounded off it's kind of a almost a 90 degree angle they've tucked the sharpness off of the edge but it's it's not rounded um, yeah, pretty flat edge to that. Same on the copperhead side is the same. There's look at the blade centering. Not too bad, not too bad. The uh, um, clip, no, it's not a clip point. Let's get it out. But this one, the one cliff, is a little over to the left there. But there's still a good bit of room. I've seen far worse for sure. I like the horn handle, nice black horn. It looks like it's got, I don't know if you can see there, but scuff marks here. Looks like it's been <laughs> rubbed on the desk or something. So that hasn't been polished out very well. Oh, it's picked it up in transit, but I don't know. I couldn't pick it up in transit, could it? Because it's pretty well wrapped. But anyway, there's that, it's got scuff marks there. Three brass rivets. The transition from the bolster to the buffalo horn is uh, pretty good, pretty smooth, both sides. Tiniest little bit of gapping up here, that's fine. Your spring actually moves, so I'm not too worried about that. Fit and finish, not bad. The scuff mark here is a, is a bit off. Let's take a look at the blades. Nice clip point blade there. Let's see how thick the blade stock is. Get my little gadget. 
two and three quarter millimeters. So we're getting up close, pretty close to three mil. A little bit of tiny bit of play, not much. Probably looks worse on camera, but it isn't much at all. Um the spring. Let's see the spring on this. For opening it's pretty light, I'd say. I don't know, three or a four. No half stops, we've got to round it off tang. Um, if you're using the knife, how much pressure? Well, it depends where you go. If you're here, it's 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 alright, but if you're putting any pressure on here, then it's folding straight away. There's a chop. Let's have a look. Um, it's not bad. That that blade is not bad. We got the logo here on the tang of the looks like a, some sort of snake, cobra or rattler. I can't I can't work it out with my you see a bit on camera probably. Whatever kind of snake that is. It's got Pakistan on the blade, so we're made in Pakistan which we already knew on the advert at uh, Chicago. It's a quite a high curve on this Wancliffe style blade. Nothing on the tang at all here. Let's check the sharpness of this one. Pretty good. I've had some really blunt blades from Pakistan. But this one's not bad at all. Blade length, cutting edge. It's a good size blade on this worn cliff. We're not far off three inches there. Total blade length, just over three inches. Let's check that on the clip blade. Total, again, it's the same size, just over three inches, cutting edge. About two and three quarters, just over. Feels quite comfortable. Not bad. This wood is hard, but uh, yeah, we're cutting cutting this wood pretty nicely, actually. There's a solid bit of pine, builder's pine, that's been heat treated. We can get to the second clip. They're both uh, thumbnail clips, uh, thumbnail doodads on the on the same side but we can get to it fine let's do a bit of cutting with this one. Oh yeah big chunks big chunks pretty nice not bad size comparison let's uh here's a case case rust lock there and one of my favourites, the Abalone. I love this Abalone. Little copper lock from Frost. Similar to that. What else we got? What else we got? We got the Zippo here, which is basically the same as a case. And that's the little lock blade there. So it's a bigger blade than all of those, but. Um, not bad little knife. I think I think it's wor worth the what was it nine dollars something. Well, well worth the nine dollars something. Fit and finish all round. So there, there you go. You're gonna have to clean these knives up when you get them. Well, you don't have to, but you know, you'd be doing yourself a favour if you did. Some unknown steel. Uh, if anyone knows what the steel is for these, uh, drop it in the comments. So overall guys, I'm pretty happy with this one. The blade centering's fairly good. It's pretty comfortable knife. Not bad, not bad at all. I like the clip blade. It's a good sturdy blade. The one cliff is nice, nice deep. Deep Warncliffe blade to it. 
Yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Not bad at all. Not a bad pocket knife. Let's check the weight. Didn't do the weight, did I? Alright, grams. 97. Which is... 3.3 ounces. Not bad. So there you go guys, it's not perfect but it's not bad, yeah, I think you're getting your 9 or 10 bucks worth, for sure, yeah, it's a good, good uh, beta knife, <laughs> the fit and finish is pretty good, spring a little weak, a little weak on the spring, the one cliff spring seems slightly stiffer than the uh, and the clip point one. But not bad, I'd say around about four or five on the pole. Not not too bad. Acceptable. Mm -hmm.